I like how his last name is Bandai. <laughs> I had that brand name everywhere as a kid. But I love his design. I think I'm going to like this guy. He was the ultimate farmer. Huh. And he's voiced by Rie Kugimaya, who voiced Lichtenstein from Italia. Huh. I hope I don't sound mean, but is it bad I know he was going to die? But not like that. That was too soon. And it was too fucking cruel as well. Fuck you, Sakakura. But despite the fact he had an unfitting voice, he seemed like a really nice guy. I just wanted to get to know him more. Is that too much to ask? She looks an awful lot like Pekko, doesn't she? A clove up, you jerk! A clove up! Oh wait, never mind. Now she looks... nice? I guess I get the vibe she's the mysterious type. And her last name? That's got to be the longest last name I've ever seen! And she was the ultimate therapist who's voiced by... What? She has no voice actress? I knew it! I knew she had something to do with Monica! Ever since I saw that theory that Miaya was Monica, I stuck to it a million percent! But I was so surprised that Miaya was actually a robot. I hadn't felt surprised at a plot twist like that since Chobbits. You have to watch that anime, it's so beautiful. I didn't trust Miaya, I wasn't fond of her, and I was so happy when people on Tumblr were giving evidence to how she was lying. And then people suggested that she was a real person, but I personally didn't buy it. Mainly because her design was too similar to Monica, and then it showed that she did exist, but she was killed. What the f Sorry. I'm still trying to believe it. I don't know what else to say about her, to be honest, because we don't really know her. Hmm. I sense some gangster type vibes from this guy. Probably because of the way he's been posed. He also looks a bit like France. <laughs> oh, better be careful. His last name has Kuro in it. And he was Hope Pig Academy Scout, whatever that means. Well, he proved me wrong. I thought someone with Kura in their name would be suspicious. He proved me wrong! Yay! He was definitely loyal and a good psychic. I really liked that. I did get suspicious of him a few times, for obvious reasons, but at least he proved his innocence by sacrificing himself to save Kyoko. He was very laid back too, and very smart. Must be because of those times he spent with Jin. But still, he was a very good man. I must admit, I'm still confused on something. He's voiced by Kaiji Tang, right? And he voiced Hakakure in the game. But Hakakure's Funimation voice actor is Christopher Bevins. Why? Again, it must be because he didn't want to voice him again, that's fair. Hmm, that's funny. Why do I feel like I've seen him before? Must be my imagination. Oh, it says here he was originally the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy. Hmm. So he was the mastermind? All because he wanted Ryota to brainwash everyone with hope? And I was probably the only one in the whole fandom who didn't find him suspicious. I'm so sorry for being gullible. I'm a bitch, okay? But did he really have to set up that game? Did he really have to kill off nine other innocent lives? Okay, maybe seven innocent lives and two who didn't deserve to die, but they were very ungrateful. Ugh, fine! Six innocent lives, two who were ungrateful and one despair. I'm sorry, but that was a really dumb way to persuade someone. But apart from that, he was a pretty badass man. I mean, who could survive being impaled at his age? That's impressive. But still. Tengen Sensei, that was really stupid of you. Junko was very proud of you. Hey, you look like Emma Sky from the Yuki's Attorney games. Cool! I wonder what you'll be like. Also, you creep me out a bit. She says she was the ultimate maid. And she's voiced by. <gasps> no way! She's voiced by Mai Nakahara, who voiced Rena Ryuka in Higarashi! That makes perfect sense! Listen up! Not to mention Rena was one of my favourite characters. This is gonna be good. Don't leave, man! 
I'm going to miss you so bad. That's awkward. <laughs> yes! Thank you, media studies! I didn't go to college and uni for four years to study media for nothing, you know! I mean, seriously, in episode one of Future Arc, I was probably the only one in the whole fandom who didn't like her. Oh, oh, my God. God. I think I have so favorite she's favorite female character in the show. I hate she this song. Gorgeous. I hate she this song. I hate this song. I will ship this until I, I die. Squeeze her. And when she died, I still thought she was suspicious. But I very slowly started to regret it after we saw her cool personality. I didn't fully regret it though, because there were some parts that did make me suspicious of her. I even called her Renna sometimes. I also went to cosplay her. It was mainly because of her dress. It's gorgeous, okay? Also, is it just me or does she look like a Don Bluth character? <coughs> oh, that's why. Got it. And at least we got to see what she was like when she was a teacher at Hope's Peak Academy. And as time went on, she eventually ran into Bitchface Junko, and that's when I got suspicious again. And of course, she became an ultimate despair. Ah, my suspicions are confirmed. Thanks to her, Chiaki died. I mean, honestly, I could change the words to ugly barnacle to despairing Chisa, and the words would fit perfectly. Oh, and guess what? Her Funimation voice actress is Colin Clickerbid, who voiced Monkey D. Luffy in One Piece. Isn't that amazing? 